Now, controversy still looms over President Park's Prime Minister nominee regarding some very dubious remarks he made a few years ago. As we just saw there, the President is currently in Kazakhstan on the second stop of her Central Asian tour. But her presidential officials back here in Seoul say she will decide on whether now to actually proceed with him when she returns home. Jim Young Gil reports. President Park Geun-hye is mulling over whether to submit a motion to the National Assembly asking for a confirmation hearing on Prime Minister-designate Moon chang The President is receiving updates on domestic affairs from top aides during her trip. The motions requesting the confirmation of nominated cabinet members will be reconsidered after she returns to Korea. The presidential office had earlier said it would ask the parliament to prepare for a hearing this week. The postponement comes as both rival parties have been stepping up pressure on Moon to step down. He's been under fire for making controversial remarks years ago about Japan's colonization of Korea. At Wednesday's interpolation session, lawmakers grilled members of President Park's cabinet where it became apparent that the prospects of Moon winning parliamentary confirmation are dim. One Hae Young lawmaker for the main opposition New Politics Alliance for Democracy lashed out at the presidential office for Moon's nomination. There seems to be a problem with the presidential office. It's not making the right choices for prime minister. What's going on? I regret the fact that such controversies continue to rise. I cannot comment on the presidential office's verification system for candidates. President Park's first choice for prime minister, An he withdrew his nomination amid criticism that he had made too much money as a lawyer, benefiting from his status as a former Supreme Court justice. The National Assembly will resume the interpolation session on Thursday with a focus on the economy. While details on the agenda have not been released, it's believed lawmakers will focus on bolstering safety management systems in response to April's ferry disaster. Jim Young-gil, Arirang News.